Bienvenue sur Somatic TV. Comme tu compris, as you understood, I start speaking French to you then. As you've understood, you know who I am, so I'm a little bit it's more silent, perspective. This is a place celebrating the crossing of two lines, masculine and feminine. The feminine goes from here and it runs all the way down the center and eventually ends up down there. The masculine line is coming through here and coming through here and going out there. I'm right on the crossing point of the energy, just in front of the Hotel. In Bethlehem, they didn't have that many, so they pitched up in a barn next to it. I'm only joking, I'm only teasing. So, what's been going on in the sun? Amazing things. We're going to be looking into the vibration that's changing, the yin yang factor, which gives us the rhythms of life. And in every aspect, as much as producing wine, as much as living and being completely in awe of nature. We're also going to be going into the eclipse, into Pluto, going into retrograde and looking at the timing of that and see how it affects us. Obviously, we're going to be getting the reaction from the line in the way of a message from the Earth to us. It's just like your mum just sending you a text. A nice one, you know. So I'll see you at the end for that. In the meantime, let's get on to what's going on in the sun. <laughs> that is really nice. Wow. So here we are outside talk a little bit more freely we're in front of the church and if you've just seen that bit of video now that's what I was talking about last week in a tsunami of emotions maybe and I'm still feeling it now and that I think comes from the eclipse and this also this retrograde in Pluto which is going into Capricorn went in on the 29th we're flowing through right through to the 5th of October we have the eclipse on the 30th. We had it the other yesterday. And it was a partial eclipse. And you can see that animation there. And then we had, the, well, then we're going to be having, and that's going to follow right through, so right through to um, the uh, 25th of October, if I've got my dates right. It's around that sort of time. And uh, you'll see the animation here. Uh, and this is what I wanted to sort of go into a little bit today. Uh, we're going to go into that. Uh, let's just have a quick look at what's been going on in the sun. Um, as you can see here, these are two um, Soho images. Been welcoming by the bells. This is uh, two Soho images. Uh, one is from one year ago and one is from this week. And you can see the difference of what is going on. And this is what we call solar maximum. And this is all to do with those solar cycles. There is, seems to be like this year, or this solar cycle, it seems to come, it's an 18 month period where it's really humdinging, right? And that first six month period is between those two eclipses. Then you have a six months where it stays at the height. And then after that, you have six months where it's gonna start going down. And then you'll get the transitional period between the two cycles of the high and the low. So it's like a wave that comes through. And we can see this in sort of, uh, as I said in the church, sort of productions of wine. But you can see this also in longer term periods of regards to the rise and fall of civilizations. You can also see it in the stock market. You can see it in lots of things, right? But you can also see it in the community that is around you. And that's the most important part to play. Or the per most important part to see in a way. So over the last uh, 
24 hours, we had this vibration sort of come through. And over the last week, there's been lots of M flares and X flares. Now, these are not been directed at the Earth. They've been directed around the Earth. We've been getting sort of side slapped occasionally uh, from these M flares and an X flare from yesterday, which came sort of three or four hours, I think, before the time of the eclipse which is a quite nice because it was acting as a little like releasing that tension in the vibration that is a uh, can only be described as childlike and this childlike vibration is uh absolutely phenomenal so just talking about a little child there's a little child just walking past now <laughs> and she's having a great of a time you are right, my love she va met she va met youtuber <laughs> no, say you film videos on YouTube. Ah. Ciao, ciao, my friend. Bye. So a little girl just went past today. Chill, sweet. How fun is that? So it's the only way to describe it is childlike. So if you imagine like a set of waves comes in, a surfer generally knows or generally says that the seventh wave is the biggest wave, and that's the wave to catch. And if you know that and you catch these waves, when you catch that wave, you can play in that wave like a kid. So if you're managing, think about it at the moment, you've still got time to catch that wave. Start, it's the start of something. These two eclipses are definitely the start of something and the ending of something. It's just a period in time. It's just a wave and there'll be more waves after that that you can catch again and play with. But this is a very good idea to sort of a very good way of playing and learning to play with these vibrations. So over the next six months, you're going to be sort of doing surfing or body surfing, going through the white water and everything like that. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. And then you've got six months where, you know, you might be getting pounded a little bit by the incoming waves. But that's fine. You'll be fine. And then six months going out, catching that next wave coming in. And these rhythms that come and go, you might well see in society this, this coming week, and this could be the release of, of tension. So, so if you imagine like you're in a, you know, go to a concert. I went to see Queen with Freddie Mercury when I was a kid, absolutely amazing. And the tension was palpable in, 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 the, in, the, in the crowd. And the moment he put that, he put his fingers out on that piano and played that song, dun, 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 dun. it just broke the emotions and everyone just went, wow. And that's what this should feel like. So it should feel really good. Um, and this is going to hopefully, this is what I'm working towards, that within our community, that emotion boils over to a, to a way of sort of, being nice to your neighbor to actually finding the solutions that the, the power structure that we have at this present time may not be able to fight because it's not the best way to manifest this sort of vibration and it's a good way to manifest that vibration with the people that are around us um so yeah so you've got six months coming up where you'll be able to catch these series of waves coming in and playing with that with those vibrations and it's a time to let go of things and i was talking about this on my sister channel where i do tarot readings and stuff like that called the astro flower you should get over in there we're, we're doing some great stuff over there doing all this sort of like channeling as well it's absolutely brilliant there is a link in, i'll put a link in the description below or well, there is a link in the description below and uh you know it's uh you can definitely sort of feel it in that sort of thing um and um so it's letting go and this is what this pluto is all about because this retrograde of pluto is between the 29th of april just before the eclipse and through to the 5th of october just before the other eclipse after that we do have uh moon eclipses as well uh, on the 16th of may and on the 25th i think of uh, october so it's all tying in together so this is a good time to bury, bury, bury the hatchet. Does that, does that work for everyone? Does that one understand? So bury the hatchet of past things and let bygones be bygones and, and actually start exploring that childlike energy that is within you that you can just share with everyone around you. And as you share it with everyone around you, 
life is just going to get better and better. But not only for you, but for everybody. Um, so this is a this is a good time to let go of any sort of things that may have been sort of controlling you and stuff like that, and or in in relationships that don't work and stuff like that, uh, and just be that kid and kind of going, oh, I'm getting bored of that game, I'm going to try play another game, you know. Uh, and if you are, you know, in relationships and stuff like that, if you're already in relationships, just explore that relationship. Use it as a new start. Start kind of, you know, doing some different things with your partners and going and doing different things, going to see different things and everything like that, you know, exploring the, the pleasures of exploring life and the emotions and the activities and stuff like that. It'd be a good week to start that. And, start that emotion because the vibration is definitely coming with us in that in that sort of sense and all this controlling aspect will just fade away around you and that may happen on a bigger scale so this could be that tsunami of emotions that i was talking about in the energy update last week um so yeah get into it love it okay let's get a little bit onto health things uh, there's, um, I've been doing my healings as, as I do every week and I see for two days I just do that for two days and people come and see me uh, and I do healing with people it's absolutely brilliant I absolutely love it I've been doing it for 30 years yeah it's, yeah, it's one of the greatest gifts that, that, that the universe sort of like provides allows me to do which is really enjoyable um, just like an artist would feel when he paints a painting, you get the similar sort of thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I thank you, energy, every day for that experience. It's just fantastic. Every time I sit in front of someone, it's like going to see a film, a new film that I don't even know, that's never been written. And it just plays out in front of me. It's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so I've been noticing in the healing and stuff, I did speak about it last week. That people may because the water's a little bit under pressure and stuff like that uh, so that may have been producing like sort of joint pain so like joints in your fingers and your neck sorry about that in your neck uh in, in your knees everything like that um so it's good to sort of drink water but also to get your circulation going so like walking bare feet in, in grass um you know eating almonds at night after you've eaten, two hours after you've eaten an evening meal to help the sugars out and the circulation out of your, your legs and stuff like that. You know, if you've got problems in that sort of sense. And just to do some sort of stretching and yoga, you know, uh, just to sort of give your body a bit of a temple moment, you know. Uh, but also, this is the other thing, and it keeps coming up. And I think this is what's got to do with the longer rhythms in life. Uh, it's about problems with sleep. If you are having problems with sleep, I will be doing a video on techniques in order to things that you can build into your life that can help you to just know that moment to switch off and fall asleep. But in order to switch off, that means you've got to do the work during the day. If you do the work during the day, it's much easier for you to say to your body, I'm putting you into autopilot, just take me away to dreamlands. You know? So I will be doing some videos on that in this coming week. So keep your eye out. If you haven't joined the uh, the uh, Cymatic TV family, come and join us. It's not much. It only is uh, you only got to click the subscribe button and the bell. Apparently, I think that's how it works. And uh, you know you'll get notifications from the videos that we do in the future. And we're going to be doing more. We're going to be doing more because I'm really enjoying it. So uh, I'm going to be doing lots of more little videos during the week. So uh, come join us. It's not easy. It's not. It's not difficult. You know. Uh, and we do a lot of stuff on Instagram and stuff like that. So that health thing about sort of sleeping as well. And obviously everybody knows if you're not sleeping well, it plays on lots of other aspects of it, of your life. Uh, it could be to do with your think thinking, mental health and that sort of thing. Uh, and lots of aspects of uh, sort of, um, you know, anger comes up a little bit more than it should do. And this is the reverse of that childlike thing. If you take a child, child can play beautifully but it can also have tantrums and you've got to understand that there is always the yin yang to everything so if you don't allow this emotion this, this tidal wave of emotion that's coming through out and enjoy yourself you might be a little bit pent up so 
Uh, it's better if you can just let it out and let it flow and communicate it to the world around you. It'd be much, much better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so keep an eye out for those videos on this channel here to help you sort of like with your sleep patterns and stuff like that. I do do personal healings online, so you can find as well links in the description below where you can book up a session, it's not a problem. Um, you know, I can help you out. Um, yeah, so, um, so that's really the main thing on the um, sort of like the health front, the healing front. It should be a lot easier than on the mental health where it wasn't last week and stuff like that or the week before. Uh, it was quite heavy on the uh, mental, uh, mental energies. So, um, yeah, that's what it's been like. I've checked the lines, as you saw in the beginning. It made it very static. The lines are actually brilliant. They haven't grown anything, but there's a lot more going through. I, I don't know actually if it's a lot more going through. It just feels like a different type of energy going through it. And that's got to do with that eclipse. It's almost flushing through the system. It's really beautiful. Yeah. So, um, I'm sitting on the line at the moment. There's the well behind me. I'm sitting on the lady line because wells signify, tend to signify female lines. I say female. Uh, you could say plus, minus, you could say yin, yang, you could say up or down, black and white. Just, it's opposites. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not gender specific. Yeah. But um, yeah, so I'm sitting on this line at the moment. So let me just now connect with the line. Now we've got a bit of quiet. Come in the middle of the sequence. It's really difficult to feel the beginning of it because it's just so full on. So there we go, we're up. The third, third eye, very precise, very, very acute vision there. Going to the crown and the sacrum now i haven't had the sacrum for some time and it feels lovely very light childlike this is this whole sort of child desire sort of thing coming through and then the plex the solar plexus and the solar plexus is it's not light because solar plexus is usually not light but it's solid it's not overpowering it's in its place and then we have the throat that's the throat it's really vibrating so it may connect with that. Several things to do with spirituality, we go into that afterwards. And the heart, just flowing. That is really lovely to feel. And then you go to the crown and the root and back to the center. It is very, very uh, rhythmical going back to basics basically going back to the root chakra and that's what those clips is all about it's sorting the sh you know the chaff and the wheat in our root basically um let's just pick up the message from the uh if you imagine you walk into a pie and there's kids just having fun and playing around it's like grabbing trying to grab a child and sort of saying uh, so, are you enjoying yourself here? What's the, um, how do you feel? You know, the, the child's just kind of going, leave me alone, I'm playing, leave me alone, I'm playing. That's what the energy feels like. It's saying, shut up and play. <laughs> so I guess that is the message from it. Shut up and play. Oh. Celebrate, realize that no one's going anywhere. No one's leaving this planet. The only time you leave it is when your body gives up. No one's coming from elsewhere either. So why don't we just get on? Get rid of all those sort of power structures or power struggles that have been holding us back for so long. And the best way to get rid of them is just to turn your back on them, to start building something else. 
you don't need a religion really to sort of have your connection with God. I'm not saying religions, I'm not having a pop at religions. Everything serves its time. But maybe, maybe, something to do a little bit better or differently, not better. I'm not going to spit on any of my ancestors, whoever came from before, all the teachers. But maybe I am here to sort of say, hey, look, can we not play in a different way? Just find your connection with God. Find your connection with the vibration. When you do, you find ultimate joy and happiness and ultimate solace and comfort. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll now shut up and play. There you go. That's been the energy update. I hope you've enjoyed it. Share this message far and wide amongst everybody. Just share it all over the place. If we can get everybody onto this sort of like playing aspect, we've got a chance to come out of this in a really good way. I love you all. I thank you all very much for the support that you give me through all these years of doing these energy updates and all those people who have subscribed to this channel. I thank you very much. And all those people who are going to subscribe, come join the party. I love you dearly. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun. So please do enjoy. Don't believe, just know. Cymatic TV turning vibration into reality.